many of you, when it comes to your real estate, you are having to sell it because you can't afford your mortgage payment. The problem is many of you owe more to the bank than what you can sell the house for. In that situation, there is something known as a short sale. This is where you sell the house, you've worked out a deal with the mortgage company, with the bank, where you can actually sell the house for less than what you owe them, you're short of what you owe them, and they just simply dismiss the loan and they call it even. Now in years past, when you did this, you would still owe income taxes on the amount that you were short. Example, you owe the bank, $200,000. You sell the house for $150,000. That's $50,000 short of what you owe the bank. The bank says, fine, we're even. But the government was like, oh, no, no, no. You owe us income taxes on that $50,000. Now, it has been signed into law that if you have a short sale for the next three years, you do not owe income taxes on the amount of money that you were short. Take note of that, everybody, because that is a serious change. Number two, what also has changed is that many of you, when you buy a home, you don't have 20% to put down. And when you don't have at least 20% to put down, you need to pay something called PMI, private mortgage insurance. Now, there are ways around private mortgage insurance, but for those of you who are paying PMI, if you make under $100,000 a year, you can take your PMI off fully off of your income. That will save you money on taxes. So that is something that you should absolutely look into as well. That deduction was to end last year. That's going to go on as well. And that includes homes that you purchased in 2007, by the way, not just 2008. And third thing you need to know, let's say you own a home and let's say your spouse, your life partner died, and now you're in this home alone. Normally what would happen is when you've lost your spouse, your life partner, and you own a home, you have also lost their deduction, their ability to claim that $250,000 of capital gains that they got as well as you got. So rather than being able to claim $500,000 of a gain off of your taxes from this home, you'd only be able to claim $250,000. Now the law has changed. If you have lived in your house for at least two out of the past five years, if that house has been and is your primary residency, and you lost your life partner or your spouse, you can still claim the total $250,000 that they would have had, so you could claim a total $500,000 exemption in capital gains if you have that in the house, if you have sold your house within two years after that person has died. So those are three really, really important changes that you need to take note of when it comes to taxes, the subprime mess, and your real estate.